Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of addition and subtraction, specifically how we can represent addition and subtraction, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a simple problem over here. Carl has got $398 saved up. His aunt gives him, so that means he's going to add another $40, and he's going to take out, which means he's going to subtract $20 to buy a new Luka Doncic jersey. So how much money does he have right now? Well, let's see if we can set up our equation first. So first we're just going to set it up side by side because we need to make sure we have the correct operations. So we're going to start with $398. That's how much he starts with. When it says his aunt gives him $40, that means we're going to add that $40 right there. And then we're going to take out the $20 to buy a new jersey. Taking out, that's just another way of saying he's going to subtract that money. So then we can say we have a little box. That's going to be our unknown. That's the actual new amount of money that he has right now. So how can we represent that in a different way? Well, if we wanted to, we can kind of make a number line to try to represent how much money he has. Now, we're not going to fill in every single number, but let's say we're going to jump from zero all the way right up here to, let's just call this 398. So he's going to go here first. Then he's going to get another $40. So we're going to add another $40. And we're going to put that right here, plus 40. Now, before we put our new number there, we, we need to figure out what that is. So let's go ahead and do this in steps. 398 plus 40. So that's going to be 8, 13. So that's $438. So he, he has a total of $438. But next, he's going to take away $20 to buy the New Jersey. So then we're going to draw another jump back and it's going to not come all the way over because it's halfway since the 40 goes from here all the way to here, 20 is half of that. So let's take another 20 away. You see how we have to do two steps. We need to add first and then subtract second. That's going to be eight. It's going to be one. So our answer is going to be 418 because he went from zero, he started up from zero up to 398, up to 438, and down to 418. Let's try another problem. Now we have a new problem. We have 102 Legos in a toy tub, and of those 102, we've got some different items. We've got 38 of them are red, 42 are blue, and then it says the rest, which means that's going to be our missing number. The rest of them are going to be green bricks. So we need to make a strip diagram to help you find the number of green bricks. Sometimes you might have seen a strip diagram before. Maybe you've called it a part, part, whole. But strip diagrams are really good when we're trying to find the relationship between different quantities. And we're going to use addition or subtraction. So on the top, we always put our total or our whole. So what is the whole or the total number we have? It's going to be 102. We have 102, so we're not going to have any more than 102. We need to fit our other numbers underneath it. So we've got three different amounts underneath this 102. And you notice how I drew my second layer the exact same distance. I'm just going to break it up into different parts. We know one part is 38. We know another part is 42. And then question mark, that's going to be my green brick. So if I take my... 38, and I add that to my 42, and I add that to, I'm going to put my box here, that's my question mark, that's going to make 102. So how can I actually figure out how many green bricks I have? Well, first let's figure out what this is. Hmm, 38 plus 42. If I just add that up vertically real quick, like my teacher taught me, that's going to give me 80. So 80 plus my unknown number, my green bricks, is going to make 102. Well, I know that I can use my fact families to write some addition sentences and some subtraction sentences that are in the same family. And I know that if I take 102 minus 80, that's going to give me my blank. And so my answer is going to be 22.